Jump man T twisted towards TV. Jump man T twisted towards TV. Jump man T twisted towards TV. Jump man T break them down to every lead. Coming live from the huddle. Yeah, twisted gon' give it to you straight off the muscle. Yeah, twisted gon' break down every play with no struggle. Yeah, it's like he in the field room. It's like he in the booth with the headset on. Coordinating. Coordination. He gon' show you what the defense is anticipating. He gon' show you how the offense move the ball out of field. From first down to touchdown, twist it towards hold the crown. And he did it with no gimmicks. I need my get back. I need my get back. Forget that. Nah, chill, T. Chill, twist it. The Panthers got you messed up. They got to. They got to. There's no way they think they finna win two straight times. In one year. No, no, no. <laughs> yo, yo, it's Jumpman T with Twisted Torch TV. I'm back again. Turn me up in your headphones. Loud and in full effect. Appreciate everybody joining me. Another week. Another chance to take down a former foe. We all remember Cam. We all remember MVP Cam. Mr. Mr. I'm back. I remember you, Cam. Yeah, I got something for you this week. You remember who put you out in 2016 when you thought you was Superman? <laughs> Dion Jones. Dion, I called you out last week. I need you, baby. We need a turnover. We need some splash plays on that defense. Shouts out to y'all, though. If you would like to donate and show support to Twisted Torch TV, hit up my cash app. Dollar sign Twisted Torch TV. It'll be right here in the video in green so you already know where to go. If you feel like that's too much, you want to go straight to the description. Tap that cash app, it'll take you right to my name. Shouts out to y'all. Shouts out to Bubba Gump. He showed love last week. Hit my cash app up. Shouts out to you, brother. You know I got to show love to everybody that donates to the channel. Appreciate you one more time. He's always in the live chats. Mr. Motivator, all my homies, shouts out to y'all. Let's get to the content, though. Let's get to the content, though. I know what y'all want to see. Y'all want to see me say, it's over. The Bucks beat us. Our playoff chances are gone. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> the Vikings lost to the Lions last week. The Eagles, they have a tiebreaker over us. They will lose this week. We ain't got a word. Washington with the... The rigged Washington football team. They were supposed to lose last Sunday. We could have been still in the same boat. But hey, it happens. We have a chance this week to put our foot on the Panthers' neck. They also hold a threshold because they won that first game. Let's get even. So let's get into the content. Um, Panthers' offense versus our defense. Cam Newton is back. Like I said, MVP Cam is back. But last week... <laughs> he didn't look like an MVP versus the Dolphins. The Dolphins kind of humbled him. That first week when he celebrated after scoring that touchdown when he first started, um, ever since then it's kind of been downhill. We will not have that celebration this week. Deion Jones, Foyer, linebacking crew, this will be a pivotal game for you guys. You have to step up. Foyer leads the team with over 100 tackles. It's third in the league with most tackles. I need a big play from you, Foyer. You've been making all the tackles you need. I want to see you on some blitzes, maybe get some turnovers, get the ball popped up in the air for Deion Jones to make some interceptions. That's for sure going to be the key. Um, the first week, the first time we played the Panthers, they pretty much ran it all game. They were in third and shorts, second and shorts. We cannot allow them to get eight yards a carry on first down. That makes um, possession is too easy to get. Can't have that. We got to force down. We got to stop the run, which we have been pretty stingy on the run. Um, I think the Bucks last week had like four yards per carry. So we were stuffing the run a lot better. I think this week <clears throat> we will have to do that as well. Chubber kind of lit us up last time. Guess what? The thing about Dean Pease, he doesn't let the same mistakes happen. When you play a team again, you figure out what their strengths and weaknesses are, and you attack it. So I expect, I expect 
Dean Pease has sent a lot of blitzes up the middle with the linebacking core to slow that run game down. We have to make the Panthers one dimension. If the Panthers get a lead, they're going to pretty much do running back and QB option the whole game to slow that game down, grind the clock out. We want to make sure we get more possessions on the offensive side of the ball. They do have a lot of weapons. Their receiving core is still fire. DJ Moore, <laughs> don't hide from AJ Terrell. That's what y'all doing. Y'all hiding from AJ Terrell. Running to the other side, getting in a slot. DJ Moore, he does a lot of slot. Roby Anderson, don't run from AJ Terrell. Let's see you work. You're a pro bowler. Let's see you work. DJ Moore, you can be a pro bowler. Let's see you work versus the best competition. Let's see it. I don't think they'll do it, but that's what I'm hoping for. Because Fabian has been tough at times. Eric Harris has been tough at times. That slot position has been tough. Kendall Sheffield is coming back, so I'm hoping we can get him more playing time on the field. Because at, at this point, with Fabian making a lot of mistakes here and there, he does have good games, we got to do better on the defensive side of the ball. We need to switch it up to see who will be able to make a better impact in that secondary. Last week versus the uh, Bucks, Eric Harris was put up in man coverage with Rob Gronkowski, and he got ate up. Um, Jalen Hawkins was put in man coverage with uh, Rob Gronkowski. He got ate up. They don't have a tight end that can do that type of energy for these safeties. So I think the safeties will have a better game versus their tight ends. No C-Mac, no white chocolate this week. Well, he didn't play last time. So no white chocolate. You have to game plan a certain way. Trevor doesn't really catch the ball at the backfield like C-Mac. So expect them when he's in the game to ground and power or do screens. Marlon Davis. Marlon Davidson, you are an impact player not on defense. Once you get a pick six on the so-called goat, you are a playmaker. You are an impact player. I need to see you show up more. I met you in person. You are a big guy. You know how to stop the run. You know how to get sacks. Let's see you get more in the fold with Grady to help him out in that pass for a situation. We have to stop the run, guys. Clear. Make them do third and longs. Cam is not a good thrower under the rest. When he has third and longs, when it's third and five, third and six, he, he known to make those type of plays with his feet or passing the ball. Do not let him improvise. Do not let Cam Newton improvise. They will try that if the pocket breaks down. Make sure you QB contain. Means, um, Ayo, make sure y'all QB contain. Dante Fowler, make sure you QB contain. If we stop the run, we'll be able to do good. Let's get to their defense versus our offense, though. Matty, I don't know, bro. Uh, I don't know what you can do. We're going to have to spin the blizzard, spin the block. You remember how Shotters did when they came back to MIA? They had to get the drugs and all that stuff back. We're taking the city back over. So we're going to spin this block, and we're going to get everybody. We want everything, every block clock thing being sold. We want it. We want a piece of it. You hear me? Matty. If you see some deep throws down the field, we got to attack, bro. We cannot go 80 yards down the field versus the Panthers. They have a great front seven. And you remember how Darby kind of has that press coverage, one-on-one -on -one skills. He knows how to make plays. Last time, he humbled Kyle Pitts a little bit, you know, seeing an all-pro type pro bowl corner versus him throughout those third downs. Make sure you attack Pitts. Pitts. You have 700 yards this season. You can make plays, bro. You want to get some of the best playmakers. I know you got it. Don't worry. Don't pressure yourself. Just make these plays moving forward. You're going to have drops here and there. This week, I don't want to see a drop. Everything that touch your hands need to be Spider-Man. Ah, grab it. Spider-Man. Ah, grab it. I need that type of energy, Pitts. What you were doing from that week three to week seven stretch, I need that Pitts back. I don't care if it's double coverage, draw these PIs to get us in some better field goal, better position. It, what comes down to it, we have to be able to block their pass rushers. They have Hassad and they have Burns that know how to make plays. They have over eight sacks. Like, both of them have over eight sacks. They're making plays in general on that front line. They also have D. Brown, Mr. Big Stuffer, Mr. Warren Sapp Stuffer. Marlon Davidson played with him at Auburn, so he knows how to make plays, and he knows how to stop the run. But, one thing we have been doing, 
We have been running the ball excellent these past two weeks. Let's continue to keep it going. We cannot put Matt Ryan in tough positions to where that goddamn front, that, we can't put Matt Ryan in a position where that, that center and that left guard have to block consistently. We cannot do that. We got to let them run, get off the ball, fire off the ball, and attack. Then you can set them up with that play action. When he, when we're able to run the ball like that with CP and, and Mike Davis and Cora and um, Gallon, Galen, got Wayne, I'm sorry, Gallon. We are better as an offense because we don't have the receivers like we normally do, like Julio and Calvin Ridley. One thing we do have. We got a weapon coming back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, and Thor, I need you. You up for a free agency, right? I need you to make plays these last five games. You are the playmaker. You are the playmaker, Hayden. I need you to step up and continue to eat like you did last year. Those last five games, I need you to do the same exact thing these, these five games. Starting this week, I need you. Crossing routes. Um, cut those out routes. Seam routes. Seam routes. Let's see some seam routes by tight ends. They cannot stop that if Kyle Pitts and Hayden Hurst both do seam routes. The safety has to guess, especially in cover three. The safety has to guess. Do not give Shaq Thompson easy windows to catch interceptions. He likes to bait. He used to play safety. He runs a 4-4. That guy has speed. He's just like Deion Jones, Devin White, all those type of um, linebackers that have speed. He's one of them. Try to avoid him if you can. Going back to Pitts. Pitts versus uh, my guy, Gamp, Brent, Darby. We got to kill him. I know Darby makes plays. Yes, he does. We got to do some stop and go routes to see if he'll if he'll fall for that bait. Darby is an all pro, but you got to test him. You have to test him. We pretty much didn't go down the field at all, so we got to this week. Russell Gage, my man, 11 catches, 130 yards. But guess what? One of those catches is flawed because you had a fumble. We cannot have those type of plays in situational football, guys. We are a middle of the pack type team. We are not a top five offense or a top ten defense. So you cannot make mistakes when key key possessions of the game. You have to sell out for that, bro. No mistakes. You will win this ball game in situational football. Will win us this game, guys. The keys to victory is continue running the ball. Feed flash first, second, and third down in the beginning of the game and towards the end of the game. That is the key playmaker for us, and we have to. And sprinkle in Kyle Pitts and Hayden Hurst and Russell Gage throughout those drives. We want to make sure we don't have third and long to where our offensive line has to block for a long period of time because our receivers take a long time to get open. In, the, in actual football games, you don't have that much time to develop your routes like you do in practice and in scrimmages. We got to get out there and do, do. We got to get out there and make plays early in our routes. Early. Give Matt Ryan good goddamn passing lanes. Please. Please. That's all I need. Help Matt Ryan out like he's helping y'all out. Please. And we will be able to make plays. Um, appreciate everybody that's subscribing to the channel, liking the content. I enjoy everybody that leaves comments. If you have some concerns or think I can do something better, let me know in the comments. You know, I appreciate all that. <clears throat> also, if you'd like to donate to the channel, hit up my cash app, dollar sign, Twisted Torch TV, and show love to your bizoy. You know, I got the content. Let's be realistic. These jokers ain't even got cameras like that. They cap it. They don't got cameras. They don't put skits in their videos. Come on, man. It's me. It's me you talking to. I'm twisted, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, man, shouts out to y'all, bro. Appreciate y'all enjoying the content. Let me know how you feel in the comments, man. It's always a blessing. We on the road to 600. I think we're like 25 or 26 away. Show love to your boy to give him 600. Appreciate y'all, man. Jumpman T, we need a win. We need a win. Fight. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Shouts out to y'all, man. Jumpman T, Twist Torch TV. Peace. Coming live from the huddle, yeah. Twist it, gon' give it to you straight off the muscle, yeah. Twist it, gon' break down every play with no struggle, yeah. It's like he in the film room, it's like he in the booth with the 